This local sports report is presented by Devin Young, a local realtor with Century 21 Heritage House and a proud supporter of the Woodstock Navy Vets. Devin specializes in residential sales in Oxford County and the surrounding communities. Contact Devin today if you're buying or selling. Call direct at 519-532-2210 or email devin.young at century 21 21.ca the Woodstock Navy Vets continuing a busy stretch, playing their third game in five days. They were on home ice Tuesday night, battling the Hespler Shamrocks. And it's a good start for the home side. Just over three minutes in, West Dobbin chasing down the loose puck. West Dobbin opens the scoring. Woodstock would jump out to an early 2-0 lead. The Shamrocks now looking to strike. The puck goes off the boards to Matthew Diebolt, and it's Matthew Hayward getting Getting the goal. That's number seven for Hayward, and the Shamrocks are on the board. Then it's a good opportunity for Ian Jeffros. He charges in. Keegan Brett is there for the save. He stops Jeffros, and it stays 2 1 Navy Vets. Later, Woodstock defenseman Ty Durston hits Brendan Smith into the boards. Brett Harton doesn't like it, and we've got ourselves a little tussle. Harton and Durston getting into it. Both players would get five minutes for five. Fighting. Durston would also be penalized for cross-checking on the play. The Shamrocks to the power play, and they cash in. Callum Harvey is at the side of the net, and he stuffs it in. Harvey scoring with three seconds left in the period. It's 2-2 after 20 minutes. Second frame now, here comes Woodstock. Braden Nelson behind the net to Mac Easter, and going down, he scores. Nice goal, Easter. The Navy Vets are back on top. It's 3-2. Back to the highlights in a moment. First, a reminder. This video is presented by Devin Young from Century 21. If you're buying or selling in Oxford County, call Devin at 519-532-2210. Still in the second, it's a candidate for goal of the year. Kyle Baker is behind the net, and how incredible is this play? The Woodstock captain scoring a Michigan goal. That's his 19th of the year. Baker makes it 4-2. And before the period is over, Woodstock strikes again. Loose puck in front. Nolan Brett pokes it home. Woodstock is up by three. It's 5-2 as we move to the third. The Shamrocks with a 2 on 0 Kyle Wagner over to Brendan Smith, and he puts it in. Smith scoring his fourth. Back the other way, Eric Tuori rips it from the point. Dayton Lilac buries the rebound. The Navy Vets in control with a four goal advantage and they would end up scoring five times in the final period. Sam Barry in front puts home his fourth marker of the year. Woodstock wins big on home ice. They take it by a final score of 10-3 over the Shamrocks. After the game, everyone buzzing about Kyle Baker's beauty goal in the second period. I've tried it a couple times in practice, but uh, I got stopped by both my goalies, but me and some of the buddies had a bet who could do it first, so I figured I'd give her a shot. I saw the opportunity, the D was on the offside, so I figured might as well try it, and it, luckily it worked out. I saw him coming around the corner there, so I kind of knew he was going to do it, so he was shining a bunch in practice, so I knew he was going in right away right when he came around the corner there. So, so he's tried it before, obviously. Yeah, no, he shot it a couple times, so I knew he was going in right away. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.